just got my internet back. I can finally upload. Let's jump into this one. Guys and gals, 37 uh, members of Congress have penned a letter to the Joe Biden administration, specifically Merrick Garland, who is the U.S. Attorney General, as well as Marvin Richardson, who is currently the acting director of the ATF. And they uh, wrote to these uh, people, I won't say gentlemen, wrote to these people expressing their disdain for the ATF's attempt to uh, redefine firearm frame or firearm receiver. I'm gonna put the letter up on screen here while I read it to you, it's really quick, it's a one page letter. And you can see here it's on the letterhead of Bob Gibbs, who is the representative from the seventh district in Ohio. And he writes, we write to you to express our deep concern regarding the recent Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives proposed rule regarding the definition of frame and receiver and identification of firearms. This proposed rule is alarming and would give the ATF extraordinary power over the firearm industry. While the aim of the U.S. Department of Justice and the ATF may be to regulate privately made firearms, the proposed rule would create overbearing marking requirements for manufacturers and give pre-approval authorization of new firearm designs to the director of the ATF. The proposed rule exceeds the ATF's congressionally granted authority by creating definitions for terms and concepts that do not appear anywhere in the statute. Should this rule go into effect, complete weapons defined as, quote, a firearm other than a firearm muffler or firearm silencer that contains all component parts necessary to function as designed, whether or not assembled or operable, would be required to be marked within seven days of its completion unless previous authorization is granted by the ATF director. These regulations hinder the development ability of manufacturers to produce new firearm designs or improve upon features of previously designed firearms. This proposed rule is just another example of the Biden administration's attempt to eliminate law-abiding citizens' Second Amendment rights by furthering government overreach over the U.S. firearm industry. The Constitution of the United States clearly states the Second Amendment is an essential right for all Americans. At a time when President Biden is nominating an anti-Second Amendment activist as the ATF director, firearm manufacturers and dealers should not be held hostage by the agency. We urge you to take action to correct this injustice immediately by withdrawing this proposed rule and appreciate your consideration to this important issue. And you can see it's signed by Representative Gibbs. And I'll flash here the other folks who have signed this. Feel free to pause it if you would like to read more of them. Now this was sent Thursday. I wanted to, I did try to get this video up Thursday, uh, but now I'm doing a reshoot because I, for whatever reason, I didn't, ha I couldn't upload video. And I got a lot of people who commented with tips or tricks and I thank you all, uh, but it had to do specifically with my internet service provider. I could download at speeds up to like 900 megabytes per second, but I couldn't upload anything. It was like 0 0.03 was my speed. The guys came in uh, from Spectrum, came into the house, did all kinds of tests with the lines and the, and the uh, routers and my modems, everything checked out perfect. Had to do with something on the pole uh, and a truck just left, they fixed it and here I am getting the news to you. So thanks for, uh, for uh, standing by for a couple of days while you know I usually put uh, stuff out every day. Uh, but I think this is a step in the right direction. I know, uh, believe me when I tell you this, I, I know from hearing from people, what am I doing? I know from hearing from people who are on the Hill, uh, Capitol Hill, that the phone calls and the uh, emails and the messages on social media and stuff like that regarding David Chipman is working. Uh, his appointment right now is in jeopardy. So stay on them. And we're not asking them, we're telling them. We're not negotiating with our rights anymore. It means what it says. It doesn't matter what their goal is. We're not going to comply with them. Guys and gals, if you agree, let me know down below in the comments. I appreciate each and every single one of you. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe to stay up to date with the Second Amendment news. Happens just about every day in this country. If you think you're subscribed, double check it again. And if you're one of those people who just watch and don't subscribe, consider helping the channel out. I could really use the boost from y'all. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a weapon. I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody.